The wait is finally over. At long last, Omega have released the brand new Speedmaster Professional Sapphire Crystal with a white dial. And in this video, we're going to cover all the specs and everything that you need to know about this new model. Welcome back to the Chisholm Hunter channel. My name is Harrison, as always. And before we start this video, if you could hit that subscribe button and help a fellow watch nerd out, I would really appreciate it. Okay, let's dive straight in and also dive out of this jacket because it's absolutely boiling in here. I was out at four in the morning this morning filming, hence why I look like like this. But let's cover the white dial first of all, because that is the main feature on this new watch. Okay, so what Amiga have said is this white dial is inspired by the astronaut suits and the iconic Alaska prototype from 1969. The dial is obviously in white, but it has a beautiful contrasting black theme running through it. For example, the second, minute, and hour hands, and also the hour markers and the tachymetric scale around the outside. There are a couple of red touches to the dial, for example, the tip of the second hand and also the Speedmaster text on that dial. And I feel like red, black, and white really play in unison to make a beautiful looking dial. I mean, I actually have my Amiga Seamaster on at the moment and somehow for me, I kind of feel like they've dragged some inspiration from the King itself. The bracelet on this model comes in a combination of polished and brushed, and that's purely because it is the Sapphire Crystal variant and not the Hesalite variant. If it was the Hesalite variant, I'm going to assume, because this is the common theme in Amigas, that the bracelet wouldn't have those polished center links running down it. Instead, the entire thing would be brushed. But this isn't a Hesalite version, this is a Sapphire Crystal version. The specs of this watch are pretty near identical to the specs that we have on the previous black variant of the Speedmaster Sapphire Crystal. So let's just cover them now really quickly so that you get an idea. The lug to lug comes in at 47.5 millimeters. The thickness comes in at 13.2 millimeters. And of course the case diameter comes in at 42 millimeters. So it is pretty much, actually no, wait two seconds. It's identical to the previous Speedmaster. This watch is water resistant to 50 meters, the same as the last variant, but what's interesting is it actually comes in two grams heavier than the previous variant, coming in at 140 grams instead of 138. Now this is quite interesting because it's the same watch with the same movement and it has that new liqueured white dial, but surely that wouldn't take up two grams. So I'm wondering, where's the weight come from? The movement in this model is the Amiga Manual Wind 3861 caliber. And this is a manual winding movement, of course, with a 50 hour power reserve. The movement on this model is certified by Master Chronometer and approved by Metas. It can reach magnetic fields of 15,000 Gauss and has a free sprung balance with a silicon balance spring. Now, a lot of the red flecks and flares are either, I'm going to say, taken from the Alaska project or, like Amiga said, inspired by the suits of the astronauts. But I'm just going to say that they look awesome. The red against the white, I, I, this is the second time I've said it, but it just looks brilliant. Listen, guys, before I go any further, it's time for the Chisholm Hunter tradition, which of course is the wrist check. What is on your wrist at the moment? Please let me know in the comments. And also, while you're at it, let me know what you think of this new model. Are you going to get one of these new models? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments and let's start that, that watch nerdy discussion. Now, interestingly enough, the way that they actually marketed this release was really, really smart. I mean, they gave it to Daniel Craig about three months prior to the actual release of the watch. Everyone then saw it on the wrist and kind of jumped to their own conclusions on what variant they thought it was. Now, we can see the gist of the watch from the photos with Daniel Craig, but not the actual watch itself. I'm just really glad that Amiga, instead of just making it a one-off for Daniel Craig, have made it available to the public. Now, interestingly enough, people didn't really realize that there's two other variants of this watch that have been released because they've not really been advertised. There's one with a antibacterial rubber strap and that actually has the moon surface landing pattern on the inside of it, which is really, really cool. And also you have a perforated leather strap with the red and white stitching. And this kind of uh, pays homage to the dial of this watch and then also makes it just aesthetically nice to look at. Something that has been updated that people might not notice is above the 90 on the bezel, it has the iconic dot above the 90 that everyone rants and raves about. It's a homage to the history of Amiga and it looks pretty cool. 
In my personal opinion, I think that the way that the rubber plays with the white dial makes it the sexiest option. Also, I'd be really scared about getting that bracelet scratched up, so I would definitely go for the rubber. And it's quite similar to the Seamaster. My favorite variant of this Seamaster, I know that I've got it on the NATO now, but would be the rubber variant. It just looks so sexy when paired with a white dial. I don't, to be honest, know what doesn't. White dials are just the best. The bracelet version of this watch comes in at £7,600, whereas the rubber and the leather both come in at £7,300. Now, if we look at the, if you want to call it, older version of the Speedmaster that comes in black, it was at £7,500. So, this is actually only £100 more expensive than the black dial variant, which isn't actually too bad. On Amiga's website, this watch is actually saying that it's currently unavailable, and they're inviting you to join a waiting list. So to be perfectly honest, I have no idea when this will actually launch in stores. I did go into the Amiga boutique yesterday and asked one of the gentlemen and he said that he didn't actually know when it would arrive in stores. So it might be the case, a little similar to the previous releases, the, the Summer Blues for an example, that they've released it, but it might take maybe three to six months for these to actually filter through into the stores where you can actually buy them. And we've actually seen this strategy a lot from Amiga. I mean, they'll release watches and then they won't hit the store for two to three months after they are actually released. And I'm guessing that's just because they're so damn popular that they can't, they literally can't keep up with the demand. And obviously there's a guest list or, or a kind of uh, wait list that people will be on as well for these models. Now I have to say, I have to speak to you guys a second, honestly. I'm honestly considering switching this for the moon watch and i'm not kidding this moon watch and, and i reserve judgment because i haven't had it in yet and i don't really know how it looks and feels on the wrist because they always look different to the imagery online but this looks like my dream model it seriously seriously does and although this is the king although it has done me so so well and i love it to pieces this just looks like the new shiny thing that I really, really want. So honestly, I'd like your opinion. What do you guys think? Do you think that I should, I should get it? Do you think that I should switch my Amiga out for the new Speedmaster? Or do you think that I should keep hold of the King? Think about it for a little more time. Now, hopefully I'm getting this watch in within the next couple of weeks. So there will be another hands-on review when it comes in of all the specs with the macro shots and you'll be able to see this really close up. So if you wanna see that, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you guys on the next video.